a very warm welcome to today's podcast in which we turn our attention to Psalm 72. May our thoughts, our words and our deeds be forever acceptable in your sight. O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. The words of Psalm 72. O God, grant the King the ability to make just decisions. Grant the King's Son the ability to make fair decisions. Then he will judge your people fairly and your oppressed ones equitably. The mountains will bring news of peace to the people and the hills will announce justice. He will defend the oppressed among the people. He will deliver the children of the poor and crush the oppressor. People will fear you as long as the sun and moon remain in the sky for generation after generation. He will descend like rain on the mown grass, like showers that drench the earth. During the day the godly will flourish, peace will prevail as long as the moon remains in the sky. May he rule from sea to sea, from the Euphrates River to the ends of the earth. Before him the coastal plains will bow down, and his enemies will lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and the coastal plains will offer gifts. The kings of Sheba and Seba will bring tribute. All kings will bow down before him, all nations will serve him. For he will rescue the needy when they cry out for help, and the oppressed who have no defender. He will take pity on the poor and needy. The lives of the needy he will save. From harm and violence he will defend them. He will value their lives. May he live May they offer him gold from Sheba. May he live. May they continue praying for him. May they pronounce the blessings upon him all day long. May there be an abundance of grain in the earth. On the tops of the mountains let it sway. May its fruit trees flourish like the forests of Lebanon. May its crops be as abundant as the grass of the earth. May his fame endure. May his dynasty last as long as the sun remains in the sky. May they use his name when they formulate their blessings. May all nations consider him to be favoured by God. The Lord God, the God of Israel, deserves praise. He alone accomplishes amazing things. His glorious name deserves praise for evermore. May his majestic splendour fill the whole earth. We agree. We agree. This collection of the prayers of David, son of Jesse, ends here. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today's psalm is titled A Psalm for Solomon. But as we read this, we can clearly see it goes far beyond Solomon and is actually a prophecy of the son that was promised to David, Jesus Christ, who would sit on the throne of David, ruling it and establishing it in order, justice and righteousness from henceforth forever. And so verse 20 transcends beyond just David's prayer for his son Solomon and it becomes an expression of Jesus Christ in the kingdom age upon the throne of David. And so we have a dual interpretation of the psalm. Give the king your judgments, O God, and your righteousness to the king's son, we read in verse 1. When the Christ comes again, the first order of that judging of the earth, gathering together the nations for their judgment. Give judgment to your king and your righteousness to the king's son. He shall judge your people with righteousness and the poor with judgment. The mountains shall bring peace 
to the people and the little hills by righteousness. He will judge the poor of the people. He will save the children of the needy and break in pieces the oppressor. They shall fear you as long as the sun and moon endure throughout all generations. He will come down like rain upon the mown grass as showers that water the earth. In his days the righteous will flourish and the abundance of peace so long as the moon endures. Verses 2 to 7 And so, you see, even by the words of the psalm, they shall fear you as long as the sun and moon endure throughout all generations. It clearly carries far, far beyond Solomon to that righteous king that God had promised to sit upon the throne of David to establish it from henceforth even for ever as long as the moon endures. Verse 8 tells us, He shall have dominion also from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. Again, the kingdom of God covering the entire earth. Verses 9 to 11 continue, They that dwell in the wilderness shall bow down before him, his enemies shall lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and the isles will bring presents. The kings of Sheba and Seba shall offer gifts. Indeed, all kings will fall down before him. All the nations will serve him. We may also add here Philippians chapter 2 verses 10 to 11. Every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. And the kings of the earth will gather, bringing gifts from all over the world where his kingdom extends, and will bring praises from the people to him in Jerusalem, the glorious kingdom age. And when you read of the kings of the earth coming and gathering and paying their homage and bringing their gifts, who are those kings of the earth? Revelation chapter 1 and also Psalm 72 verses 5 and 6 And to him who loved us and who has made us unto our God a kingdom of priests we shall reign with him upon the earth. Revelation chapter 5 The song of the redeemed saints in heaven Worthy is the Lamb to take the scroll and loose the seals. For you were slain and have redeemed us by your blood out of every nation, tribe, tongue, kindred and people, and have made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign with you upon the earth. And so we are talking about the church. This mention of the kings falling down before him is a reference to you, brothers and sisters, today, his church and your place with him in the kingdom age. For he shall deliver the needy when he cries, and the poor also, and he that hath no helper, he will spare the poor and needy. He shall save the souls of the needy, he shall redeem their soul from deceit and violence, precious shall their blood be in his sight. He shall live, and to him shall be given all the gold of Sheba. Prayer shall be made for him continually, and daily shall he be praised. There will be a handful of corn in the earth upon the tops of the mountains, and the fruit trees will shake like Lebanon. And those who, those who live in the cities shall flourish like grass upon the earth. His name shall endure for ever and ever. His name will be continued as long as the sun, and men shall be blessed in him, and men and nations will call him blessed. Blessed to be Jehovah God, the God of Israel, who does wondrous things, and blessed to be his glorious name for ever. And let the whole earth be filled with his glory. Amen and Amen. And so this psalm brings us to the end of the second book of the psalms. 
The Psalms are actually divided into five books, as we have discussed before, and each of these five books ends with a doxology. And here we find that the whole earth be filled with his glory. Amen and Amen. We agree, we agree. Sort of, as you know, the capstone on the thing, the conclusion. And so the prayers of David, the son of Jesse, come to an end. And so next week, as we enter into book three of the Psalms, we arrive at a series of Psalms that are ascribed to Asaph. Now we know Asaph was the chief musician. He was appointed by David as head of the musicians. But what is unclear is whether or not it was the name of an actual person or the title of the chief musician. It is possible that Asaph was the title. And so the Psalms of Asaph would be the Psalms of the chief musician, not necessarily of the same person. Some of the Psalms that we see are ascribed to Asaph are clearly Psalms that go well beyond the end of the Davidic period of reign, even into the areas of desolation. Psalms that were written after the nation of Israel were devastated by their enemies, which of course will go well beyond the end of Solomon's reign. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.